Desmond Joel arrived in Zambia from the Democratic Republic of Congo seven years ago. He was forced to abandon his small business in Lusaka when rioting began and his shop was looted. We are dead already. I guess we are dead already. You see, our brother, they are dead there. They have, they have burned in the shops. They have burned in the houses. You see? Okay, simple as much better. We die here. We are not going back there. Serious. He says he can't return to the community where he lived because it's not safe. More than 300 foreigners have come to this church compound for shelter after being targeted in riots. There have been several murders over the last month with victims' bodies mutilated. People here say these are ritual killings to secure body parts used for good luck charms. Angry local people are blaming foreigners for the crimes. Across Lusaka, more than 60 foreign-owned shops have been looted or destroyed, many of them owned by Rwandan nationals who fled their country following the genocide there. In Zambia, there have been calls to rid the country of these immigrants. We heard that our Zambian people have been burned in Rwanda, so we are going to burn them here as well. But in Chawama in Lusaka, some say criminals took advantage of local frustrations over high unemployment and the rising cost of living. While the Zambian government says the riots were unexpected, it's deployed security forces throughout the city. It's a shame that this has happened in Zambia, which is a country known for its peace and its hospitality to refugees. I will not allow this to happen again, and I'll make sure that the police bring every culprit to book. People here say they don't want to return to refugee camps because there's no way to make a living and conditions are poor. But as the government gives reassurances that Lusaka is safe, rumors continue to spread in the streets. And in this community, pictures circulate of another apparent victim of a ritual killing, adding to growing suspicions. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Lusaka.